Hello friends, in this video we will see why we need collection framework. Before this we will see what is collection. A collection sometimes called a container is simply an object that groups multiple elements into a single unit. Collections are mainly used to store, retrieve and manipulate data. Example of collections are a collection of cards, a collection of letters, A telephone directory why we need collection framework we have arrays to store data but arrays has some limitations like size of array is fixed array does not have add or remove methods We also have dictionary, vector, stack and properties classes which handle group of objects better than the arrays. But each of them handle objects differently. The way we use dictionary class is totally different from the way we use stack class. And the way we use vector class is different from the way we use properties class. Hence we needed a central and unifying theme to handle group of objects. And the collection framework is answer to that. A collection framework provides a centralized and unified theme to store and manipulate group of objects. Collection framework provides some predefined interfaces, implementations or classes and algorithms to handle group of objects. Using collection framework, we can store the objects as a list, as a set, as a queue or as a map. We can perform operations like adding an object or removing an object or sorting objects without much hard work. Collection framework or simply collection is introduced in Java from JDK 1.2 and it is placed in java.util package thanks for watching